Hey guys. Hi. How's it hanging? Uh, um, hanging pretty well. And welcome to another Brotherhood of Men. Indeed. On Zoom. The 373rd overall instalment in the series. Yeah. Wow. What do you know? Hmm. Away from completing series number 14. Well, those are Christmas ones, eh? Absolutely. What do you know? Well, apart from that. And that too. And not too much. Not really. No? I can be scared out of this skin. But at the moment, I'm just stuffing my face up. You've had the Skittles, but these are the smoothies editions. Nah, never heard of those. No, I only got them yesterday. Ah. So you got raspberry, pineapple, apricot, banana, and blueberry. Banana, na, 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 na. Where did that come from? That's the tweenies, that is. Anyway, hmm? that's the tweenies. There was a song on that whole song on their first album about bananas. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> Jake. Anyway. Speaking about bananas, that was a banana one. I don't you like don't bananas. Oh. Ow, just bit my tongue. Ooh. <laughs> anyway. Let's get back to the in. show. Let's. Before one of us runs out of something to say. Mm. Well, it's a brotherhood of men and the mermaid. Yeah. Absolutely. Where? Did you think you could go floating past the screen without notice, Safi? Oh. Nice You're try. Beautifully mistaken. <laughs> well, well, that was a pretty mistake. Anyway. Well, there isn't really much going on in my world at the moment. No? Well, Although I'm going to be looking at doing my Vista today. Nor mine is. <laughs> so I'm just wondering if um yeah, I can't remember what I was gonna say, so never mind. Oh. Couldn't have been that important. No. Um, no, uh, yeah. Where's Safi? Yeah, she's trying to give you the look. I don't know what you're giving him that look for, Safi. Take your hands off your hips, love. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful mermaid, you. Anyway, let's put you back on your rock. 
it's not so much a rock, but an old half eaten cushion. <laughs> How is every cuddly? They're fine. And that same that Brilliant. all of you, by the way, guys. Maybe with the exception of one. Yeah. <laughs> You see, he doesn't seem to be saying anything about it, though. Maybe he's not as miserable as I thought he was. <laughs> well, he might want I to could say be something. wrong. He might want to say something, but he's going to shut up if he knows what's good for him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, You're going nowhere, Kenny. Just play the game with my schedules. Steve Wright. So, um, the schedule that ends up closest to me will be the one that gets eaten. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I indeed. And then we can only see what happens after that. Yeah, absolutely. Apart from um, me having a crush on them. Oh dear. I set up because I crushed one. Oh, oh. Trust that to be happening when I'm. Doing this. Okay. What's happening? No, that's a delivery. Who needs to take care of it? Well, my mum's gone down. If there's no one already down there to take deliveries in. Ah. <laughs> so... We're still waiting for Christmas shopping to arrive. Hmm. Not much time to get that done now. I'm going to do mine when I get back, because otherwise I'm going to have too much to carry. It'll be way after Christmas when you get back. Yeah. I have to be running the risk of bringing everything back. Bringing too much back. Which is why I was then advised to wait on it until I get back. Mm. Oh. You sound like you've got a cold coming. Uh, it's just a runny nose. Uh, There's nothing new for me to have. I'm trying not to let it make me ill. So it can do. Oh. Uh, yep. Well, 
you already know what one of my special Christmas vlogs is going to be. Yeah. You might as well tell you what the other one's going to be. On Christmas Day itself, a present opening. Nice. Yeah. What I'm gonna do while I'm at it, I get my phone out. You're phony. Excuse me. Um, do I have Zoom installed on here? No, I don't. No, you do not. I put the that straight away. So if, if you're going to be running a Zoom meeting, you might want to do it on a computer. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Or I could do it on here. Yeah. Can you record Zoom meetings through your iPad? Yeah. It won't come through with any sound. Because I'm in front of a virtual background. I can see that. Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, I think that's it. San Francisco. Yeah. Looks like it. Well, those backgrounds seem to be Sort of hiding me in the background. You're in the foreground. Now you're in space. Well, that's space and a half. I'll give you all the space hey. you need. <laughs> that's better. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Stratton. <laughs> Their five-year mission? Okay. Star Trek opening the dialogue. <laughs> yeah. That's better. <laughs> wow. I could fit up to 16 people on one screen than this. Yeah, but then you'll have less time to actually host a meeting if you had 16 people. Yeah, 45, 40 minutes. Well, I'm lucky enough to get just one more person to do these with. And that person is me. Yeah, the, well, these type of shows only require the two of us. Yeah. Means we can just go all out and do go as long as we want. Yep. Case in point, the last episode, the previous episode of T2J. The two Jimmies. Another episode. Another episode that, went, that came before it. Yep. And then we had the Zoomers previous episode being 58 and a half minutes. Yeah. That proves testament enough. Yeah. I, I can't see a point where I'm ever going to want to host a, a meeting in the evening. Because that's where I'm going to start running into availability problems on your part for certain evenings. Mm. Are you Tuesday and Thursday? Yeah.
You want to see the other background, virtual background? No, um, I haven't got one on. No, so did you want to see the other one? Uh-huh. Oh, now you're in the grass. Someone's grasped you up good. Yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> but you can also use your own. Huh? Yeah. I see that as you're picking up. Every time. Oh, now you're in Wales without actually being in Wales. Then the song's coming back to my head. <laughs> Break it down. It comes around. That one? Yeah, that one. Because you know you'll probably be asking yourself, is, can I still say it? Oh, no, you can. But can I still say it's a question? <laughs> well, let's give find it a go. Go, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. 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 Then to be fair, that's how I felt it was pronounced when you first showed me the name myself. Well, because we'd never get an English name that long. No. <laughs> and hard to pronounce. Oh, you... except we make you have to see the holy head harpies. Mm. <laughs> they are a very holy Quidditch team. I thought first it was pronounced holy head. It's holy head, but, but yeah, it's only one L. So <laughs> But then so did I at first, until I heard Stephen Fry read it in the Harry Potter books. They'd have to have two L's to be Hollyhead. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Indeed. So Mary's Church, in the hollow of the white hazel near the fit, near the rapid whirlpool, and the Church of Cecilia by the Red Cave, or as Bradley Walsh calls him, brilliantly silly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah my bro my brother found that really funny. Uh, which brother? Stephen. Ah, Mr. Stephen. Mr. They found it. S.J. He found it so, he found it, he was so impressed that I could actually say it, that he keeps getting me to say it. Yeah. Um, they all I can, Donna tries to say it. But all she can do is go, Garrett, go, Garrett, go, Garrett, go, go, go. Well, it even, it's even hard for some actual natural-born Welsh people to pronounce. I was, um, I was talking about it in Bangor. So I'd arrived at Bangor, and when I mentioned it, they said, just call it Shanvai PG. Most mm. of us do anyway. Yeah. Or what it used to be called, Shanvai Paul. Um, but 
Yeah. And then the rest of it got added on in the 1850s. Yeah, which then gave the it the longest name in the British history. Fifty-eight freaking letters. Did you know that they did an Anglesey version of Monopoly where they fit the whole of this station I did know one that. square? I did know that. You showed me it. You showed me the picture of the board on Google. I've been asleep since then. <laughs> so, um, there's that. <laughs> I've, um, Oh, my glasses are getting dirty. Doity. Dirty. And there's Safi in the background lo looking lovingly at my back. <laughs> <laughs> call up. You need to call for a bit of backup. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, pardon me. It's probably because of the way I positioned her on the old moth eating cushion. <laughs> Which Have moths been eating at that cushion? Sorry? Have moths been eating at that cushion? Oh, what? No, no, they haven't. It's just an old cushion. No, I I'm wouldn't be surprised if they did because my light's always on when I'm awake. But moths couldn't get in anyway because your blinds are always shut. Well, we have windows that are open in the house, not these ones. Well, they could get, they couldn't get into my room, and my doors are always shut, trying to keep the heat in. Mm. Unless I have to leave the room for one reason or the other. That's true. <laughs> oh, Absolutely true. yeah, yeah. Indeed. Well, I've got a meeting later on tonight. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And that would be... Uh, Paul Gotterbog and... Portsmouth family home evening. Ah. Uh. Don't even know if I pronounced that correctly or not, because it's sweet it's that's in Sweden. Ah. Uh. No, you probably wouldn't have done. I wouldn't even know how to pronounce a Swedish name correctly myself. I've never met any Swedes. I met one. Oh, yeah. Sister Engelbrexen. Never heard of her. No, he wouldn't have done. She used to work in the temple. But she's from Sweden. Yeah. Well, they must fall into vegetative states there all the time. Why, right, because the Swedes? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be like having a country called, I don't know, Potato. And the nationality being Spuds. <laughs> and then you've got... 
people from New Zealand being called Kiwis. That's because of the Kiwi bird. Uh, Kiwi nation. Nothing to do with the fruit. The Kiwi bird. Yeah. Although I wouldn't be surprised if they grew the fruit in New Zealand. No, I wouldn't be surprised either. <laughs> so, by far, the hairiest fruit I've ever tasted. <laughs> it's what they call a hairy lychee. Lychee lies all the time. <laughs> Where did that come from? I mentioned Harry Lychee. Yeah, Lychee tells the truth all the time. Yeah, Applejack knew what I meant because her eyes just twinkled. Yeah. <laughs> and I am just stuffing my face with Skittles. Then you'll be making Skittles Day. Mm. Skits all day. Oh, those things are so small, they could easily just go down the wrong windpipe. We only have one windpipe. Uh huh. Unless, of course, you suddenly think we've got two pairs of lungs. Then why do so many people refer to eating something too fast as sending it down the wrong pipe? <laughs> I'm not one of them. No, I'm not saying it's gone down the wrong way. Yeah. Well, it's eating too fast. Before um, you shove something else into your mouth before you even have a chance to swallow what's already in your mouth. The train's gone down the wrong way for me as well. Hang on a moment. Thank you. Me or you? Me. No. I think I've come from the church. Could be Stone Cow. Yeah. Mail call. Oh, nice. Some of the other way they have opened their presents already. No, leave it. We've got more presents. I know what it is. It's not to have. Lots of presents on Christmas Day kind of not used to. Uh, I've already got enough presents under the tree already. Nice. I've got arrow hot pepper. Oh, nice. I've got um, Christmas novelty socks. I've got that'll go nicely on the tree. I've 
Got caramel. Got oh broken candy cane. Drum squashies. Our worms. You right there, James? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Anyway. Before things get too gifted. Mm -hmm. Can we? We are going to, well, either carry on or end it. To you? Uh, well, I don't know how to carry it on from that. So, and we have been on for about half an hour ish. Yeah. So, that's a good place to end it, I think. So join us in the next episode. Until then, it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from him.